Georgia has 12 electoral delegates, but only 11 showed up at the governor's office at noon to cast their votes. The 11 were sworn in by Supreme Court Chief Justice Undercoffler. They were just about ready to elect a 12th delegate from the onlookers in the room when Martin Luther King's widow finally showed up. She was sworn in separately, and the voting began. Each delegate was handed a pink ballot. The result? The presidential electors of Georgia cast 12 ballots for Jimmy Carter. The Georgia delegates also unanimously voted for Walter Mondale as vice president. The delegates aren't bound by law to vote the way the majority of the state did, but they generally do. Only five other states voted for Carter today, since on November 4th, Ronald Reagan took the majority of votes in the remaining 44 states. These Georgia votes will now be collected with votes from all over the country, and they will be sent to Washington. Early next month, a new 97th Congress will add them all up. And barring some unforeseen fluke, Ronald Reagan will be inaugurated January 20th. From the governor's office, Lynn Harrison, Action News.